they say this has nothing to do with stifling your political beliefs. Do you believe that? I would have to say that I wholeheartedly disagree. Okay, so what, what evidence do you have that the school is actually discriminating against your political beliefs? Um, currently on campus as of today, I checked today, I saw four Hillary Clinton t-shirts, one Obama shirt, a Bernie Sanders hat, and about seven LGBTQ uh, rainbow flag hats on campus today. Were they in classrooms? Yes. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty good evidence. Okay. So it looks like if that's accurate, and I don't have any reason not to believe you, if that's accurate, then people can just kind of wear what they want to wear in school. I mean, I see kids coming out of school, they're wearing short shorts and stuff I'm like, whoa, my mother would have freaked yeah. out. But they're wearing lots of stuff, including hats. And I see a lot of political symbols on, on shirts. It seems like kids are encouraged to be kind of mini activists, which is. It's not how I grew up, but that's how kids are. But if you're a conservative activist, then you're kind of a hater. That's how the dominant culture sees you. Why did you want to kind of pick this fight, which is pretty brave to do at most probably public schools in the country? Thank you. Um, I chose to pick this particular battle because I ended up at the beginning of the first semester getting an internship with Devin Nunes and David Valadeo um, during their midterms. And that's when I really discovered my true passion for politics. And I realized that the school systems seem to be trapped under the government's thumb about what they're supposed to you know, teach, what's acceptable, what's acceptable to force down our throats in a sense. And um, I realized that it's not always the truth. So I chose that as a conservative, raised in a family that my family was made through adoption. So I was born into the pro-life army. And um, I just decided that I felt like someone needed to take a stand. Someone needed to stand up, not just for Clovis North, not just for Clovis Unified, but nationwide for the conservative and Christianity um, monitoring that's going on on campuses. I guarantee I'm the only student, but I had to get my um, support the blue sweatshirt approved. Yeah. I have to get all of my sweatshirts and shirts approved through You're the disciplinary office before Maddie, I can actually Maddie, wear you them. Look pretty, you what look can pretty I say? Yeah. You look pretty edgy. You look like you're in real trouble at school. So, uh, all right. Well, it's very interesting. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be following. Uh, that's a nonconformist here on the Ingram Angle. We really appreciate it. Wow. Maddie is brave for wearing her MAGA hat. Good for her. We should be encouraging students to get more involved in civics, not discouraging them. She should be able to wear whatever hat she wants. If this school was allowing people to wear Biden hats, Bernie Sanders hats, wearing shirts for different social causes, political causes that are on the left, then she should be able to wear her MAGA hat. This is a government school. This is an issue of free speech. If it is being allowed on the other side of the political spectrum. So are these school administrators, are they supporting free speech? No. This is a case of violating her rights. She is very brave. And these schools need to be careful. And we need to keep putting them on the news. We need to keep talking about this and exposing these people. If it's on the left, it's okay. If it's on the right, then it's suppressed and it's taught as something bad. And that's just not the case. There are millions there were 70 million conservatives, 73, that voted for Donald Trump and a lot of great and amazing people. But the left wants to silence everybody. They're using these silence tactics, these intimidation tactics. It's not okay, and free speech needs to return fully in America. And I support Maddie and this clip from Fox News. They put Laura Ingra, put her on, and that story. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, slash follow. We'll be back with more videos soon.